Every vaccine carries a risk of injury, and that risk can be greater for some than others. American parents would make very different uh, decisions about how they vaccinate their children. Were they given the proper information? One of the reasons that I'm here is the toxicity of vaccinations as they have been used for such a long time in this country. It's not in the best interest of your children. You're going to be trading some innocent types of diseases that we now know how to handle better for other problems such as allergies, asthma, even autism for years to come. I began looking at vaccine toxicity years before I had my first child back in the 70s. And back then there was enough information for us to see that the whole theory of vaccines could be terribly flawed and that by dumping stuff into the blood could in fact cause some severe long-term illnesses. So the current, the current climate of vaccine science is very controversial. The information that we're being given that I was taught in medical school is not consistent with safety and efficacy. As we see the number of vaccines being added to the schedule, we're also seeing a tremendous increase in the number of chronic illnesses in children. My concerns are the absence of any adequate safety studies looking at the long-term detrimental effects of vaccines used in childhood and the almost cavalier continuance of the process of introducing more untested vaccines into a schedule of vaccination that is already um, appalling in terms of its scientific underpinnings. The swine flu vaccine contains squalene. It's in one of the European versions. It's being tested on four continents. This particular oil, when injected into animals, causes crippling disease. Wouldn't you like to know that before somebody said, I'd like to put this in the veins of your son or your daughter. I strongly advise against getting the, the H1N1 flu vaccine. It is not a very serious illness. The swine flu vaccine has both aluminum and mercury in it, which are both neurotoxins. Squalene may be added. Squalene is an adjuvant that stimulates your immune system to attack itself. It has been associated with Gulf War syndrome in two papers. This public readiness and emergency preparedness uh, waiver was issued for all the H1N1 vaccines to be used in the United States, including any novel adjuvants if they are used. These waivers have also been issued for pandemic influenza vaccines of a number of types. What that means is that if you are injured from one of these H1N1 vaccines or another pandemic vaccine, you have no access to the legal system. At this point, uh, it, it's become very clear that the government is engaging in a deliberate practice of censoring science, of suppressing science, with simple changes in the vaccine schedule, such as delaying vaccines, getting out the, the metals such as aluminum and mercury, separating the shots, that they can reduce the amount of adverse events. This is the mandate of Congress in 1986, when the Congress passed a law with a mandate for safer, safer childhood vaccines. This has never been carried out because the government officials are simply afraid of the results. At this point, it's gone beyond regulatory misconduct, I think, to criminal negligence, uh, because the, uh, the government, it is incumbent on the government to, to release this information, to fund these kind of studies on an ongoing basis, so that we will have the, the information we can can to change the schedule and to give parents the proper informed consent. It is not a very serious illness. It's less bad than our seasonal flu. Please do take your vitamin D, your vitamin C, eat healthy, eat organic, get lots of sleep, drink lots of water. That's much safer than taking the vaccine. You have the human right to make an informed voluntary decision whenever you're gonna take a medical risk that could uh, hurt you or your child. If we're gonna look at food, if we're gonna look at the plastics in the environment, the heavy metals, the pollutants, the perfumes, the skincare products, antibiotics, we must be open to the possibility that not only is it the vaccination itself, the introduction of materials that are foreign to the body past the natural immune system, 
but we also must entertain the possibility that some of the byproducts of vaccine manufacturing also make it into the body and destroy or impair or contribute to the destruction or impairment of our children's systems. Really do your research and know that, number one, you have a right to make this decision. No government should ever force us. And please don't make this decision based out of fear.